Hi, so in this video we're gonna focus on the threats that AI has been posing lately and all the sort of uh, Pandora vases that have been opened by the release of AI technology in our world. Obviously the elephant in the room here is deepfakes, which means fake content, particularly images. It could be videos in the future. We're getting there, the technology is getting better and better each time. Uh, audio fragments, like someone speaking, that have been created by AI, but have not happened in the real world. So for example, you could listen to a politician saying certain things, but they never did. That audio was generated by AI. Or we've seen cases of people calling someone's family or friends and using the voice, for example, of their kids or their parents and ask for help, ask for money and uh, wiring some money to a certain bank account and uh, describing a certain threat or situation and that never happened. And it was just a way to steal money from someone. Also, some researchers argued that 2024 is gonna be the last year of human elections. And I think it's a very interesting thesis. Uh, they basically say that from here onwards for the next elections, whoever is gonna have the best AI is gonna win the elections. It's not gonna matter how good the candidate is, what their political ideas are, or how they communicate or connect with the voters. It's just a matter of, who, of whoever has the strongest AI technology. And if this sounds crazy to you, it's actually possible. Like you can probably imagine, as AI becomes more and more powerful and it's able to interpret a wide array of data from um, voter sentiment uh, to a content they publish online uh, to videos that are being published and uh, how uh, the public interacts with this material and AI can absorb all this data and figure out a strategy to uh, make a certain political campaign more powerful and um, more likable by people, uh, then whoever uses this uh, could win an election. On the other hand, uh, my only observation to this is that this is new, completely new in the AI field because AI is such a recent technology, but I would argue that it's not a completely new phenomenon in the world. I mean, we've seen for hundreds of years that whoever had most power, the best technology, the strongest economical resources could influence voters' preferences and win an election or work their way through victory. So in my interpretation, AI is just another tool that's gonna follow this path. It's not something that we've never seen before in humanity. On the other hand, I think it's good that we talk about this, that we debate it, that we create a global consciousness around this problem, and we try to create tools that minimize this sort of unbalances as much as possible. Another risk in the AI field is the fact that now we have seen AI uh, being able to generate content for its own training. So one of the limitations we've had so far is that AI is trained on, let's say, a very, very big data set that contains all the material that's on the internet, all the text that's ever been created, let's say by humans, uh, but it was kind of running out of material to train itself and improve, because more material it has, the better it becomes. And now they've started using AI to generate material to train itself. And why this sounds a little weird and counterintuitive, the way it works is that AI will generate an array of different materials, and then it will test how it becomes better at a certain task. And then it will figure out that when it generates a certain kind of content, it helps AI itself become better at performing a certain task. So it will generate more of that and it will become better and better. And now this is a huge change and it means that now we do not depend anymore on content that's just created by humans, but AI can create its own content to improve itself. So this is relatively recent, but it's something that is gonna accelerate even further the improvement of AI. And to wrap this up with uh, one very interesting and very scary piece of news that I've come across lately, there has been this project called Alpha Persuade. You might have heard in the past about AlphaGo, which is the software that was made uh, to win chess games. Now, Alpha Persuade uh, uses AI 
to sort of win an argument with someone. So it's sort of like a game where AI needs to persuade someone of something. So imagine, imagine you have a certain idea uh, or you're against a certain idea and someone enters a debate with you. Now the purpose in the game, the purpose of AI is to convince you of the opposite or some, either something that you don't believe in or something you're against. And it wins the game if eventually it reaches that goal and convinces you of something that you didn't believe in the first place. So this is obviously kind of scary and we can imagine how it could be used for very malicious purposes. At the same time, it's important that we do this research to know how this technology works, uh, to understand more about the human mind and to figure out how such uses also can be limited. And to wrap up this video on a positive note, uh, please remember that AI has threats, but it's also being used for incredibly powerful and positive things. So we need to think about both and just try to minimize the bad things and keep them under check as much as we can. So let me know if there is anything important that you think that I missed in this recap. And if you like this video, please uh, share it with your friends and on social media and subscribe to this channel. Thank you and see you soon.